So tell me a little bit about your kind of practice schedule or practice regimen. Is there anything like specific that you do um, when you're getting ready for a tournament? Um, it kind of depends. So for ones, I'll try and play as many ones community tournaments as possible and then play ranked and spar throughout the week. Usually I'll spar and do that from like 8 p.m. Eastern to about 11 to 12 uh, p.m. slash a.m. It's just playing the game consistently and putting yourself in situations where you don't want to lose and mm -hmm. you're up against players that like can beat you, but also you can beat. So just doing that consistently and like giving it your all will is all the practice you need. Um, for twos, it's kind of the same thing. Just hop on with a teammate, play for a couple hours, maybe spar, maybe some money matches. I'm not a huge money match guy, but uh, those are great practice as well. Play every community tournament possible and just staying consistent. Like, there's a lot of ways to practice and you can try and optimize it. But like the number one thing, if you want to go pro, is just like to play the game consistently. Like, just don't stop. Uh, maybe like five days a week, four days a week. But if you keep it up, you're going to get there eventually if you really care about it and like, when you're playing as well, you're, you want to win. How do you practice for tournaments? Very similarly. Uh, I just kind of play as, as much as I am kind of able to. If there's something particularly egregious in like a game what, that either catches me off guard or it's just something that I don't know how to deal with, um, that's usually when I go and do like some replay review and try to figure some things out, come up with some options to uh, practice that can maybe deal with something uh, that I'm struggling with. But as far as uh, twos goes, it's pretty much the same. You just want to like play as much as possible, get your teammate in to uh, practice some combos and things, make sure you've got like consistent follow-ups to the different things, that kind of stuff. It's definitely like a lot of problem solving as well. Like you mentioned the replay files, like particularly, I don't love watching a ton of my replays, but what I do is like, Every time you get hit, there's a mistake. So it's trying mm. to understand, like, like why'd you get hit? And then, okay, like, if you're getting hit for a dumb reason, maybe you forget it. But if you keep asking yourself, why are you getting hit? Why are you getting hit every time you get hit? Just like a mental note, like, really yeah. quick. You can kind of, like, be like, hey, I'm getting hit for the same reason every single time. Or, like, 80% of the game is for this reason. Right. So I'm going to stop doing this in the next game. So that's kind of, like, how I improve a lot. Um, I'll go on the replays more if I see, like, some egregious hitbox. Yeah. And I, I get hit by nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, definitely the same same thing, just different ways. Uh, kind of on the, the topic of like practicing and improving, um, I know that you've been doing uh, a bit of coaching, pointing out in a lot of your videos recently that you, you offer coaching. What's kind of your approach when it comes to teaching other people how to play the game? Like what are, what are your kind of common recommendations that you give to people? Um, so kind of similar to what I just said in terms of like every time you get hit, it's a mistake. So when I coach someone, I'll often like just watch a ranked game, especially if they're lower elo and I can't play against them. Mm. If you're like Valhalla or Diamond, maybe we'll do a 1v1 and I can like see why I'm hitting you more. Um, or I'll, most of the time it's a ranked game. I watch the replay and then we watch it over together. And then the times that they get hit for a reason, we just like be like, okay, why'd you get hit here? Oh, okay, that's a normal reason, that's fine. Uh, but like 99.9999% of the time, you're gonna come up with like a list of things. It's like a priority list. It's like, okay, here's where you're getting hit the most. Here's the second thing, reason why you're getting hit the most. Here's a bad habit that you should focus on to not do. And obviously focus on one at a time. You don't want to think of too many things at once. But it's just kind of a list like, okay, if you do this, 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 and this over the next like two months, you're going to be better. So trying to make it as easy as possible. Like when I coach people, I don't want them paying for another session anytime soon. Mm. If they have to pay for a session very often, I am not doing my job. Interesting. If you want a very personal trainer approach to coaching, which can really help like an athlete's approach, mm -hmm. um, like in traditional sports, like you coach mid tournament, every single tournament, then Maybe I'd do something one day. I don't really have time for that. So like my goal is like, <laughs> I want people I coach to just improve as fast as possible. And I don't want them coming back until they have no idea how to improve. Gotcha. Interesting. Okay. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's a great take on it. I think, um, Thank you. I'm going to turn this into a little bit of a back and forth, uh, conversation because I think we both tend to have, uh, a bit of a passion for teaching people things uh, just based on like the the type of content that you're creating on channels like neutral Lakes and the coaching that you do i think this is kind of a good opportunity for both of us to just kind of like riff a bit on some of that style sure of course 